Oh, I can hear. I can hear it ticking. Can you? Oh, can you hear the clock ticking? I can hear. I'm close enough. Maybe you can't hear the clock ticking, but this is a clock, right, kids? It tells time. Do you know what time it is? It's about 10 minutes to 10, right around there. That's what time it is. Do you know what keeps the clock ticking? Tick, tick, tick. You know what keeps the clock ticking? I'll show you a secret. There's a battery right here. That battery on the back of the clock gives the clock the energy and electricity it needs so that it keeps moving, keeps ticking. What if I take this battery out? Guess what? Tick. There's no more tick. The clock, it'll get stuck right there because I took the battery out. But if the clock gets stuck, does that mean that time starts moving? Are we all frozen? No, we're not frozen. Even if this clock stops, time will keep going. So this clock really doesn't make time move. What? Wow. So what or who makes time move? Who makes it a new year? Who makes it morning every day? God does. There's a Bible verse in Psalm 31 that says, my times are in your hands. That verse means that we, t we tell God, God, we believe that you change time. We believe, God, that the new year belongs to you and that you give it to us. Let's pray and let's rejoice in that. Thank you, God, for another new year. We look with hope toward 2023 and thank you for all the blessings of 2022. We know, God, that our times are in your hands and we know that you will bless us with grace and mercy and strength. And all God's people said, Amen.